Welcome to one of Maine's Oceanside communities, home to over a thousand Maine families who have lived here for generations and want to stay. Home to a plethora of wildlife, a rich independent culture steeped in the maritime heritage, the best seafood and breathtaking scenery, all contributing to our state motto, the way life should be. We want to live and raise our own families here and be an active member of our community. We want our families to experience washing the sand off your bodies in the cold ocean after a long day at the beach, wandering in Maine's wilderness and embracing the natural beauties that surround you, skiing down Sugarloaf, the cold air hitting your face. We are proud to be Mainers, but by the time we're ready to settle down and raise our families, we will be faced with challenges and changes to the state we love. Basically, greenhouse gases create kind of a, a, a layer over the earth um, that, that can trap heat as it goes out. Um, so some gases go up and they disintegrate right away. Greenhouse gases can kind of hang up there for like years or decades. And in the case of carbon dioxide, it kind of happens in about 30 year cycles. So the carbon we're emitting today, we will still be paying the price for 30 years from now. Sea level is rising. If we do nothing to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions, seas will be 11 feet higher, meaning that today's high tide mark will be tomorrow's low tide mark. This isn't just an issue for coastal communities. This affects all Mainers. If we ignore this looming threat, it will not only cost the state of Maine millions, but the livelihoods of many Mainers will be lost, altering our identity as a state and people, as well as the landscape for future generations. concerns me is that, you know, ultimately development and projects and homes for people, affordability is going to get, it's going to get expensive, you know, like it's, you know, to mitigate some of the issues with climate change, it's going to cost money. The cost will fall to average hardworking Mainers who are least able to shoulder the expense. For many communities, coastal retreat and inland migration is the only option. So now what? Is that it? Not exactly. People across Maine, the nation, and the globe are taking action. The time for change is now. Nothing is impossible. Together we can help make a difference. Together we can slow the rise here in the Gulf of Maine and around the world.